All right, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, Blue Raiders win 33-28 to 28 here at FIU to close out the regular season with a 7-5 record. we got five student athletes plus Coach Stock. Our first student athlete tonight is going to be Jacoby, I'm sorry, excuse me, Jacoby Thomas is going to be our first student athlete. Oh, I see. Jacoby, we got you. See him down here. How you doing? How y'all doing, man? Well, I, I guess we'll start with with the first interception. You know, the, the pick six. Well, walk me through that play. What do you remember about it, and how did you set yourself up in that situation to make a play? Uh, they uh they hit us on that a couple times with thirteen. You know, um, so it was just one of those moments where it was like you know the team needed to play. You know, me and Trey sat there and we thought what, what the best opportunity would be for us to make a play, and we both told each other one of us is going to score on this drive, and uh came out. Kind of sat in between both receivers, and I, I just really wanted him. So I saw him throw that ball, and I knew I wouldn't get hit by the turf monster two times. It wasn't happening. You, you know, the secondary up until that point that had gotten got a, a couple of times. They gotten over the top. They gotten underneath. It had beaten you guys on a couple of plays. What does it say about that group's resiliency that, that y'all were set up to have the success in those situations? Man, we all we all know the part of playing DB. You you go get beat. And, you know, what, what makes a great DB set from a good DB is how you react and how you respond to getting beat. So, you know, when I got, when they gave up that first touchdown, number 13, you know, my head drops. I hate getting beat. All the guys, you know, we try to keep each other up, you know, motivate each other all the time. And that's something that we all just did and kept doing and kept doing. We knew our time was going to come. You know, just stay patient, man. Just stay patient. And then the, the second interception looked like it was just sort of a, a desperation heave. What was that sense of relief like getting that? pick and knowing y'all were returning back home with a win man I, I almost I almost dropped the ball to be honest with you I almost dropped it because I was so excited I knew it wasn't getting there and you know Coach Shave kind of killed me for running down the sideline you know I was just as dumb but it just feels good man this is a hard part game it's a good team you know the record says nothing about who they are as a team so even to win that game just you know it feels amazing you know Coming home to Murfreesboro, you're seven and five, guaranteed winning season. Got a chance to to win, you know, two bowl games in a row for the first time in program history. Um, what's exciting about where this team has gotten, you know, through this season so far? You know, we had a lot of ups and we also had a lot of downs, but you know, the best thing about this team is we always stayed saying we never got too high, we never got too low in any of the moments that we ever had. So the best thing about this team, I could probably say, is just. The family, man, the culture of this team, a lot of people don't get to see that. Y'all see what we do on Saturdays, but the culture of this team in the locker room, how each and every one of us holds each other accountable, that's that's the biggest part of me. That's the thing I love most about this team. And then for you personally, Jacoby, you're somebody that started the season lower on the depth chart, had to work your way up and got an opportunity. But what did it personally feel like to, to make that kind of play in such a big moment for this team? Um. I can't even explain the feeling that way. Um, I just know, like, from the beginning of the season, I knew I wasn't playing a lot. You know, sometimes I hung my head down. And just, so after we played Miami, I was like, man, I'm not going to play this season. And I talked to Ferg, and Ferg told me to stay down and stay ready. Your name's going to be called. And, you know, it's going to be called. And, you know, to be where I am now, playing as much as I am, to make a play like that, I, I, I can't even explain it. It's, that's that's amazing. Anything else for Jacoby, guys? All right, thanks, Jacoby. Have a great night. Thank you. The Corey and Sam down here. You got me. Yeah, I got you. Well, walk me through your interceptions in the first half. Looks like you had a good read on what their wide receiver was doing. How did you make those two plays? So in the first one, it was just like he gave me a speed release. I was just, I ran through the sideline. I heard ball. I turned around. I just caught the ball. And then in the second one, I kind, I kind of knew what he was doing. He came to the line already and stuff. So I was like, all right. Let me go ahead and get ready. So I kind of, I just played my technique and put them in another. The the defense played so well in the first half, held held them to just seven points. Maybe should have even had the, the shutout if not for sort of that that last drive. 
Uh, what was really clicking for you on that first half that, that helped y'all have so much success early? Just great communication and just everybody doing their job. You know what I'm saying? So when everybody doing their job, is really nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nothing you can do to our defense. If you're doing your job, we, we, we do real good. Then in the second half, FIU started making some plays, got some momentum, even got the lead at one point. What does it say about that this DB group that they are able to come back, get two picks, and, and sort of ice the game for you guys and win the game for middle? Um, because previously we've been good, we've been really good in, in, in the second half. So you know they kind of caught us off guard, but we know just keep our poise, all us believing each other on the back end, and once we just get together in jail together, it's, it's like it's we, we we just make it stick. We just make it stick after that. Like, but they 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 hit us they hit us on some shit they hit us on some shit on some stuff they hit us on some stuff that they shouldn't have hit us on but you know what I'm saying we made adjustments and they 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 couldn't respond to it. What was it like for you as as a veteran defensive back seeing a young guy like Jacoby make those types of plays that he did at the end of the game uh, as a young player that's getting his real first opportunity this season. Just keep your confidence. When even when plays don't go your way, just keep your confidence. I'm, I'm I was really excited for him because I was just telling him like, you know where the ball going. Like, do your job, do your job. You know where the ball going, go make a play. That's all we do. We, we catch a hundred balls a day, and it's like, just go make a play. You know what I'm saying? So he he stepped up, made a play, and I'm happy for him. I'm really happy for him. It's really just the beginning for him. Anything else for DeCorian, y'all? All right. Thank you, DeCorian. I'm going to take a right. That's the last time I'm going to let you on the radio. That's the last time I'm going to let you on the radio. <laughs> you said sorry. <laughs> Isaiah, it's Sam down here. You got me? Oh, doing great. You know, the, the offense really had things rolling in the first half, some pretty creative play calling, you know, particularly on that, those first couple drives. What was really clicking for you guys where you were moving the ball a lot? Um, we, our game plan this week was just to come in and like play fast. That was, that was really our game plan this week. So we felt like if we tempoed them, uh, got them tired, um, we felt like that was going to that was going to wear them down. So really, just playing fast, uh, and, and we knew that was going to get the job. I think my my favorite play I saw in that sequence was the one where Chase sort of pump faked the screen and then hit you up the seam where you, where you you had nobody around you. What was that feeling like when you got that opening that much in the zone like that? Uh, it, it felt good, you know. What I'm saying I, I probably should have probably should have turned and, and got more yardage, but you know, what I'm saying it, it felt good. Uh, Chase was Chase was on the road tonight. He was hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Chase, Chase is on the road tonight, and he was finding uh, receivers. He's been on the road for the past couple of weeks, so it feels good. Oh, we, we saw Chase break out the legs a little bit this game. You know, two rushing scores, you know, countless QB draws. What, what's it like blocking on the outside on those plays for him in those situations? Man, it, it's easy because, it, like, the whole game, the, the, their DBs were playing – 10 yards off, five, 10 yards off of us. So we knew Chase was going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, beat him with his legs on a couple of them plays. So it, it feels good. It feels good to, to block and see our, our quarterback walk into the end zone on touch. Yeah, second half, you know, offense, you know, just, you know, ha had some big moments where maybe things didn't go y'all's way, but Jacoby Thomas comes up in a big spot, gets the team back the lead. What was your reaction on the sideline when that play happened? You know, I'm so proud of him. I'm, I'm so proud of Jacoby. Like, me and Jacoby talk all the time. And, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it felt good to see him, you know what I'm saying, finally get them two picks. And, and he's been doing it all season, really. A couple games, he, he's had a, a couple other picks, too. So, it felt good to see him. First, he got the pick six, and then he ended the game. So, those are, those are two big plays by, by a big-time playmaker. 
you know, seven and five guaranteed winning season, you know, for the potential to win back to back bowl games for the first time in program history. What does it say about this team that, that they've gotten to this point after some of the, you know, the, the ups and downs they've had all year? Yeah, we just stay together. We, we just fight. We stay together. And that, that's the biggest thing about us. We so close as a team. We, we got a bond together. And we just know, like, if we stay together, regardless of what happens, just keep going. We just, we know, we know we're going to be able to so stay together. Anything else for Isaiah, guys? All right, Zay, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Wes. Oh, uh, do it. Darius, see him down here. You got me? Yeah, I can hear you. Y'all uh, offensively had a lot of success rushing the ball you know, for, for you know extended periods of time, both you and Frank and Chase today. Um, what was really working on, on that side of the game where y'all were finding some space to, to get some big gains? O-line. That's what it really was. Uh, O-line made, did a good job making holes. And we did a good job making people miss. I mean, that's part of football. That's how you be good at it. You know, this offensive line units, you know, had a lot of new faces this year for, from last season that had to get broken in. Uh, how have you seen them develop, you know, sort of from the backfield and, and how they've gotten better, you know, game after game, you know, at this point in the season? Uh, I'll just say, man, from the first day I was on here, you know, was, uh, everything was kind of new, but after, after a while, <laughs> after a while, <laughs> the O-line just, I guess, I don't know what it was, they just clicked. And uh, like I said, like tonight, if it weren't for the O-line, we wouldn't have had a lot of the uh, success that we had. So it's kind of hard to describe the, the transition from where they started at to now. Just know each day they came out here and got better. Uh, has Chase Cunningham been doing some running back drills with y'all after, you know, the elusiveness that we saw today? No, uh, Chase, man, hey, man, he, he's great in his own way. Uh, I think he'll do a third quarterback, but... Uh, that man, great. He uh, he, he ain't scared to run, even with the knee brace. <laughs> he he be taking off and on doing his thing. I should ask. Now, obviously, you know, second half, Jacoby Thomas comes up with the big play to to give Middle the lead again. What were you doing on the sideline? You know, when that play happened, what was your reaction? Oh, I was. I mean, I was so excited. I was. I ain't been that excited in a long time. <laughs> Oh, and then seven win season for you guys, guaranteed winning season, got a shot to win a, a second bowl game, you know, bowl game for second year in a row. Given the ups and downs this team's faced this year, what, what does it say about the scene that they've gotten themselves into this position at this at the end of the season? Say that a little bit, he was breaking up. Sure, you know, guaranteed winning season with the seventh win, got a shot to win a bowl game. What does it say about how y'all gotten to this point, given the ups and downs you guys have faced all year? We always fight. That's, that's it. We just fight. That describes our team. We, we fighters. Anything else for Darius, guys? All right, Darius, thank you so much. All right, thank y'all. No problem. How are you guys doing? Doing well, Jordan. Sam down here. You got me? Yes, sir. Well, you know, I think my favorite play of the game was when you split that double team on your first sack. Walk me through that play. How'd you how'd you break through that and get to the quarterback? Yeah, so we had a stunt call, but uh we had a tight end on the ground, so we had to check to a different stunt. And uh, I don't think uh, they were aware for it. Well, they had a, a protection where um, I was lined up in the B-gap and they tried to slide the protection. Um, so really, he kind of worked out in my favor because he just left me kind of a little open a little bit. They tried to crash down on it too. It was too late. Uh, and I just made a play. Uh, I missed the first one um, early in the game, point blank one, but it's all cool. It stayed, stayed steady and uh, we kept rushing and we made plays later on in the game. Well, I, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but if you'd gotten that first one, you'd already have your own single season sack record. <laughs> ah, hey, you tied it today. Hey, it's, it, it's all cool. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be today, I guess. Uh, you know, God makes everything happen for a reason. And uh, we're going to keep grinding. we got one more game. And I, I, guess he, I guess he wants me to do it my last game. So, um, you know, if I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. It's just happen to play with these guys. And uh, 
Uh, I definitely want to get it, but uh, I'm going to keep playing and having fun, man. I'm having a blast. It was a, it a hard-fought game. Shout-out to FIU for fighting the whole game. And uh, shout-out for, shout to us for getting the job done. It, to me, Jordan, it looked like, you know, Jacoby's pick six started with the pressure. You guys got up front. Um, you know, how, how quick were you all able to, to, to get into, you know, Carlson's face and make that throw uncomfortable for him? Yeah, so we knew going into the game it was going to be a three-step drop game. And, uh, of course, again, our team does something that, that we can prepare for. They're going to do on field. They didn't do this all year. Uh, they came out on a 12 person down using two tight ends the whole game, but they never do. So it's another test for our defensive team. Uh, our D-line, our linebackers, and our DBs. And uh, like I said, uh, previous weeks, man, we all play together. We all make plays. And, uh, and, you know, sometimes you don't get put, you don't get stats for, you know, hurries or just get in the face, but you, you make plays like that and uh, have opportunities for our defeat, DBs to make picks. And, uh, you know, we earlier in the game, you know, we all miss plays, but, you, you know, you say that you keep your head down and keep working. You, you make plays later on in the game for big plays to win the game as well. So shout out to Jacoby for staying, you know, ready for his moment and, and flushing his last plays and uh, proud of that kid right there. Jacoby mentioned how, how you were one of the guys in the locker room that, that helped him keep his head up early in the season when, when he wasn't seeing a lot of playing time and, and how he would get this chance later. What, what were some of the, the, the reasons that you wanted to do that and, and keep him up, you know, for, for opportunities like the one he had tonight? Yeah, just just seeing so many safeties come through here. Uh, uh, we got a lot of DBs who, you know, playing the league now. And I know Jacoby has the size. He got the uh, tangibles to be a really good player. Uh, he's still young. So uh, I just try to do the most I can right now uh, to keep one of my wings to uh, make him make plays. And you never know when your time's going to come. Uh, you know, it's always a next man up mentality. And, I know earlier in the year he had an opportunity. He had to pick his first game or his game plan. And uh, it's a testament to him for just staying ready. And uh, it's not just me, it's him. He works hard. And other guys, keep, we all hold each other accountable. And we expect a lot of each other. So uh, we get on each other a little bit. You know, you know, we ramble a little bit. But that's all football. We're brothers. And I love playing with him. I love playing with the BBs. And we all love playing with each other as well. Anything else for Jordan, you guys? All right, Ferg, thank you so much. Safe travels. Right, cool. Appreciate you. Evening, Coach. You got me? Yes, sir. I hear you, Sam. Uh, I guess just to start things off, and just with, with an opening statement about the, this back and forth game you all played tonight. Yeah, uh, great college football game, man. Uh, knew it was going to be tough. It's hard to win on the road, and uh, you know it's you can look across some scores today. You know how how close everybody played, and this is a very competitive conference. I told the team all week that uh, you can't take this team for granted. Uh, you know, they're going to fight. They're going to give you their best effort at, for 60 minutes. And uh, we've got to match, uh, match their intensity and be better at it. And I thought we were. We, we knew it was going to be a 60-minute game. We played it. We played extremely hard. Uh, there's going to be adversity in every game. And there was adversity in this game. And we were tough enough to overcome it. You know, we lost three offensive linemen. Uh, we lost Frank, you know, we were, we were shorthanded the second half offensively and that's not an excuse because we got to be better, but we just had, we struggled piece and piece and drives together playing consistent. And uh, we got one in there and we had a, another good drive that we ended up kicking a field goal that ultimately was taken off the board and had to redo it. It was blocked. And, uh, you know, so, but we fought our tails off and uh, that's what this team does. And as a coach, you know, that's the thing I'm most proud of is just when, when they give you the effort, play with the effort, the intensity, the toughness that they play with every game and how they played today makes me extremely proud of them. The team got off to, to a really hot start in the first quarter. Uh, it seemed like a lot of, particularly on offense, the, the play call seemed to be really sound and got the ball moving. What did you see the offense doing well, you know, in the first quarter and second quarter to, to put yourselves in a good position at the start? Yeah, we moved the ball, but we didn't we didn't finish the drives. You know, we kicked three field goals, two field goals there, whatever it was, the first two drives. 
and uh, you know you got to score touchdowns. So uh, and then we lost some people, you know, about the middle of the second quarter, and uh, it was just it, it, we struggled after that. You know, we went into halftime with a twenty to seven lead, and uh, you know I told him it's going to be a it's going to be a dog fight. And it was, but we showed a lot of guts, a lot of character. And uh, we left everything on that field. And, uh, and I think, you know, we, 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 we moved the ball, scored, a, but we didn't score touchdowns, you know. So we got we got to be better at that, you know. Uh, I think we were two for two on fourth downs, I think. Uh, you know, it might have been two out of three, but especially in the first half, we, can, we converted some fourth down plays that uh, enabled us to, you know, extend those drives. <laughs> well, you mentioned the fourth down success rate. You guys were two and two tonight. I think y'all will end up being the best team in Conference USA on fourth down offensively this season if, you know, results hold from the rest of the day. What has led to so much success in those situations for you guys this year? Well, uh, I think one is we put ourselves in fourth and, you know, you got a chance to get it. One, two, three. Uh, you know, the diesel package with uh, Ferg and, and Zaylin and JK and Marley Cook, that's really helped us. It gives it, you know, it's close to 1,200 pounds coming in there. You take out receivers, you take out some other guys, and you're probably replacing 500 pounds with 1,200 pounds. And uh, they're all athletic enough. They're really good athletes that you can put them out there in space. You can throw them balls. They can run it. You know, they can block on the perimeter. So that part of it has helped us. And then defensively, FIU was able to, to pass into the game, but it was the defensive backs who, who made the big defensive plays. To Corey and Patterson with two first-half interceptions. Jacoby Thomas, obviously, with, with the two second-half interceptions to, to get the pick six in to seal the game. Uh, what does it say about that group that, that they're able to bounce back in those situations and make plays even after they maybe gotten beat earlier on a drive? Yeah, you know, I, I thought, you know, if, if you grade it as a whole, yeah, you know, we turned them over four times. Uh, DeCorian made some great, great interceptions there in the first half. You know, Jacoby made two really good ones. But we also gave up a bunch of plays. Uh, we got to be a lot better keeping that ball in front of us you know, we score to go up 27 to seven. And then, you know, they, one play later, you know, they hit a 75 yard post on us, you know, so we, we, we got to be better at keeping the ball in front of us. Uh, but at the same time, they showed their resiliency. They showed their mental toughness, their competitiveness, their competitive spirit, you know, to continue to compete and uh, make plays and uh, just uh very very satisfying win with the win you know you're guaranteed a winning season this year with seven wins got a shot to win your, your second bowl in a row um what does it say about this team that that they've gotten to this point with, with the ups and downs and, and the challenges and adversity they faced this year toughness sam toughness you know ignore the noise don't listen to what outside folks say doesn't matter control what you can control. And uh, that's what we do. And I say it all the time. We win on Saturday. We come to work on Sunday. We lose on Saturday. We come to work on Sunday. And that's what these guys do. Uh, they compete. They work hard. They give you, give me, give us, give this program everything they got, every snare. And uh, to win seven games, to, ha to have a winning season for these guys to go out, a winner, and then hopefully, you know, you have a chance, you know, to get eight, you know, and that, like I say, man, it's, it, you, you look at who we play, you know, the games, and, you know, yeah, you wish you were 12 and 0, but uh, there's only one team that's 12 and 0, there were two teams. And, um, you know, so just, I respect them, I appreciate them how hard they work, how hard they compete. They give me, give us everything they got every day. So they got a great heart. They got a heart of a winner and uh, they're winners. Anything else for Coach Stockstill, y'all? 
And then I, if Mark Owens is home listening to this, I hope you feel better, AC. You know, you missed a heck of a dead gum game. But, uh, you know, just I appreciate you and just, man, I, I miss you. Uh, we had great omelets this morning and uh, saved one for you, made one for you, but nobody ate it in your honor. We love you, AC. Thank you, Coach.